everyone. Welcome back to another great episode of Rehana's Cuisines. Today we're going to be doing a baked version of um, kebabs and then the kebab then what I did was we I'm going to we're going to fill this up with um, boiled eggs and this is another one of my no bake uh, no fried bake recipes uh, especially for the month of Ramadan or the fasting month. So if you want to know how to make this, let's go ahead and start reviewing the ingredients. So we're going to do a tablespoon of fresh ginger and garlic, a teaspoon of sambal, and this is the one that I use. Um, it's the chili garlic sauce with the green top on it. And then um, I have two egg yolks here. I have uh, about three tablespoons of uh, freshly chopped cilantro. And then I have here a teaspoon of cayenne a teaspoon of onion powder, a teaspoon of garam masala, a teaspoon of lemon pepper, a teaspoon of cumin powder, a teaspoon of coriander powder. Then we're gonna add toasted two breads. We're gonna use these, these two breads, and then we're gonna add salt to taste. Pounds of ground beef. And the boiled eggs, so I've already, um, they're already in here. So you see here that you just want to mix it enough that everything is mixed through. And then I also forgot to add two. We're going to do two tablespoons of ghee or two tablespoons of melted butter. I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil, very little bit, before we start putting the mixture on. Now there's a couple ways that you can make these. This can go in the oven. This can also, you can steam this by um, putting it in the foil and then adding it in a container um, in a pot and then just steaming it um, you can also boil this in a sense that put it in saran wrap then again tie it close it off with a foil paper and um, immerse that in water making sure that you're you've covered it really really well and then you can boil that um, with, for about 45 minutes and it should be ready. So I'm just gonna go ahead, flatten this out, and add our um, boiled eggs. In. All right. So you see here, I tried my best to do more of a rectangle shape. All right. And then we're gonna take the eggs. And now these eggs, I had put them in the fridge. I did them yesterday, so they're really nice and firm. I'm gonna cut both sides off just a little bit, so that um, when we also cut it, it's you're gonna have more structure. And also, when you line it up like this, it's going to line up better, see? All right, just like that. I'm going to finish off all of them. The ends, and now we're just going to roll this and completely cover it. And I roll, I'm just going to roll this completely. I'm gonna seal the um, ends off just like that. And then I have my oven on at 375 degrees. This is going to go in for about an hour and 20 minutes. And this is gonna bake in the oven just like so. And then um, for after one hour and uh, 20, 25 minutes, we'll come back and I'll show you how this is gonna turn out. These came out fantastic. Um, really, really happy with the way they turned out. Um, and so one hour, 30 minutes on 375. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna do a taste test and I put, you can serve this with either my red chutney, it's on the site, I put it, put it uh, under the description box. Or you can also um, serve it with green chutney or tamarind chutney, whatever you like. So let's go ahead and give this a try. This is amazing. It's super satisfying. And no one's going to be able to tell that this is not fried. I mean, this is baked. It's super tasty. And it's easy to make. 
The other thing also I wanted to point out that these can be easily frozen. So once you make your roll, bake it, or even if you don't wanna bake it, I personally would bake it because I wouldn't want any extra water coming out from the uh, mixture of the, um, the ground beef. So I would bake it and then just take the same wrapping, the same, or put it in a different wrapping or just wrap on top of it, stick it in the freezer, make a couple of rolls. So when you're, you know, those days when you just don't know what to cook or what to do, you can take these out, let them thaw out, and this would be a great freezer um, recipe. You can make it before the month of Ramadan um, and use it. And this is, yes, this is amazing. So thank you so much for joining me on this episode of Rehana's Cuisines. Hope you can join me here next time with another great video. If you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and share this video on whatever social media you have. Um, help me reach 100,000 subscribers. See you then.